What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple is full of surprises because today they re-released iOS 18 Developer Beta 4, AKA Beta 4.5. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what's new. There's not too much to talk about, but we're gonna talk about that in this video. So you can see the size came in at a very small 264 megabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's go and check out this new build number for the re-release of Beta four so settings general about and we can see that the new build number is 22a 5316k so we went from a j at the end of the build number for the original beta 4 to a k at the end of the build number for this re-release of beta 4. and i would expect that to be the same build number as the upcoming public beta which we should see early next week and we'll talk about that here in a moment now as far as the modem firmware version of course that remains at 2.15 0.01. Okay, so now what's new here in iOS 18 beta 4.5? And the reality is there's most likely nothing changed at all aside from some bug fixes. So anytime Apple re-releases software, nothing is typically changed except for we did see some minor changes in beta 3.5 but nothing has changed visually here in this update. So first off, you can see that the emoji keyboard remains the same. Also, it has been reverted back. So the frequently used right here is now at default. So all of your frequently used emojis are still reset for some reason. So that was an issue in the original beta four and that has not been fixed here in the re-release of beta four. And of course the keyboard itself, the emojis are small like they were on iOS 17. Now I think that the biggest reason Apple re-released beta four is because of the brightness bug. So if you're not aware on iOS 18 beta four, there is a major bug where the display will just keep setting itself to the lowest brightness possible after unlocking the phone. So if you unlock your device or if you lock your device and then you go into it, when you get to the home screen, the brightness would just be all the way turned down to zero and you would have to go in and manually set the brightness again. And sometimes both the brightness and the volume toggles are grayed out. You can't even adjust either one of them unless you lock your phone and unlock it again. So that was a major issue that myself and several others were facing with iOS 18 beta four. So it seems like that is fixed here in this re-release of beta four. I've not had it one time here on my 15 pro max. And it seems like we also have a fix for the volume bug, which was the other big annoyance with beta four. And that is that if you're playing audio or if you're playing like a YouTube video in the background and your device is locked and then you tap it to wake up your device, it would just stop playback. It would pause the video, it would pause the music, whatever you're watching in the background, and you would have to manually go in there and restart that song or just replay that song. So that appears to be fixed in this re-release as well. So those are two pretty major bugs that really make day-to-day -day usage a pain. It makes it really annoying. So it makes sense that Apple would fix those two bugs before the next public beta and that's why public beta testers you know if you really rely on your device a lot it makes a lot of sense to stay on the public beta and not the developer beta that way you could have avoided some of these major bugs that we developers had to deal with with beta 4. and i say major but they're not really major in terms of like breaking your device but they are pretty annoying bugs that happen on a daily basis now some users did report issues with cell connectivity in beta 4 and i cannot confirm or deny if those have been fixed I did update to the re-release version of beta 4 on my main device, but I've not placed enough calls to be able to tell if that's been fixed or not. And plus, I never really had any issues with connectivity to begin with. But if you were having issues with connectivity and especially your cell signal, that could be fixed in this beta. However, I doubt it. I think it's this update was more for, you know, visual bugs, like the bugs that we just talked about, where the brightness went down and also for the volume bug. I don't really think that we're going to have a fix for cell connectivity because number one, the modem wasn't changed with this update and number two that typically takes more than just 200 megabytes of a fix so you might see that fix in the next actual beta beta 5. and seemingly the only thing that's changed even in the code of ios 18 beta 4 is just a single change to the quick look thumbnailing framework 
So nothing major whatsoever in terms of changes to the code with this release, which really just indicates again how minor this update is. Now, as far as the release notes go, it looks like Apple has not updated the release notes for this re-release of beta four. So the release notes are exactly the same as they were with the original beta four release. Now, as far as the performance goes, I am going to run a quick Geekbench six test here on this re-release, this new build of beta four. However, I would not expect any type of difference in performance going from beta four to this re-release of beta four. Again, I think this is only to fix some minor inconveniences, some minor bugs that we saw with the original release just to get it ready for public beta testers. But let's see what we score. Okay, so as expected, not a really big change at all in the Geekbench scores, actually a little bit lower than the original beta four. So we scored a 2830 on the single core and a 6876 on the multi-core. So pretty much in line with what we had with the original release. And then when it comes to the battery life, again, just like the performance, don't expect any change to the battery life. I do not believe that this re-release has any impact whatsoever on battery life. So whatever you are getting on beta four, continue to expect that. And if you are a public beta tester, just know that beta four battery life, at least for me, has been better than it was on any previous beta, which is a good sign. Okay, so now let's talk about what's coming up next week because those on the public beta program have probably been wondering where is your iOS 18 update like you've been stuck on iOS 18 public beta one all week. Now I would expect that to change next week. So I do believe that we're going to see the next public beta get released on Monday, July 29th or on Tuesday, July 30th. And again, I would expect that build number to be the same, the exact same build as we have here with this developer beta four re-release. And again, I think some of the issues like the volume bug and the brightness bug were two of the main issues holding back the public beta. And again, this is why this goes back to what I said all along that if you rely on your device and you don't want to have any, you know, issues that really impact you on a day to day basis, you should probably stay on the public beta so you can avoid some of the annoying issues, like especially the brightness bug that us developers had to deal with. So when public beta comes out, you won't have those nagging issues. Of course, you still will have issues, but just not the ones that have been fixed with this re-release. Now, after that, I would expect iOS 18 beta five the following week. So most likely on the week of August 5th. So Apple should stick to the Tuesday releases. So August 6th seems likely, but nonetheless, we should see the developer beta and the public beta get released at least within the same week next time around. And we could see Apple intelligence features as early as that beta, but we'll have to wait and see on that. But yeah, that is iOS 18 beta 4.5, a very surprising release. Apple typically does not release a software like a 4.5 software in general, let alone on a Friday at the end of the day on a Friday. So very, very rare move from Apple, not something I've seen in quite some time. So they really wanted to get this fixed up and make sure that that next public beta is solid for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this quick update, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for Apple Weekly coming tomorrow. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.